Hello, friends. My name is Dwayne Esmond. I want to welcome you again to another day in the study of God's Word in the book of Psalms. And today, Wednesday, we are going to look at two emotions, two emotions. See if you can spot them in this beautiful Psalm, Psalm 13. Psalm 13 is a psalm that has both despair and it has hope. Uh, but one of the things that's beautiful about this psalm, and you'll learn it today, is that it has a twist that comes toward the end that I think is magnificent. So the psalmist wonders, Lord, how long will you forsake me? How long will you not hear me? How long are you going to let me stay in the situation I'm in? Now, I don't know about you, but I have been there. I have been in some situations that took longer to resolve than I think God should have left me there uh, before they were resolved. We all feel that way. It's human. But God knows our timing, doesn't he? He knows. In fact, the Bible says he has our times in his very hands. He has our lives in his hands. And so there are times when he will say, you know what, I'll come immediately. But then there are other times when he'll say, you know, I'm going to come when I believe it is best for you. And when you have learned what I need you to learn in the situation that you're in. The psalmist wonders, God, when will you show up? But then the psalmist does something interesting in this psalm. He says, you know, I am going to trust you, Lord. I am going to put my faith and my trust in my God, my salvation, my God, my salvation. And then he says that, you know, I, I will, I am yet going to sing praises to you. I, I will one day get back to where I'm supposed to be with you, even though right now things seem a little out of control. I know it sounds a lot like yesterday and the day before, and that's intentional. Because the message is that there is hope, that there is trust, that there is a God in the middle of the struggle who longs for us to constantly call upon him. So today, we will see that hope and despair sometimes can exist together, but that we ought not stay in despair. We ought to travel over to hope and know that God will meet us at the point of our need. And in fact, when we pray these kinds of prayers, we ought to ask the Holy Spirit to come with us. The Holy Spirit will help us to pray, not just what's in our heart, but also pray the hope that we need so that we can take hold of our God and bring him near. Let's get in that word today. God bless you.